I just found out my parents' neighborhood lawnmower is moving away, and instead of me mowing the lawn, I thought there's got to be a better way how their lawn could be taken care of. And today we're going to do that with the Sunseeker Orion X7. Thanks so much to Sunseek for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead, get it set up, show you everything it can do. So here we have a manual. We have the RTK antenna with plenty of cabling here. Here we have the Sun Seeker, quite the robot there. And here we have all wheel drive, as well as 14 inches or 35 centimeters of mowing cutting. And I like how it's offset so it can perfectly get all the lawn with the dual rotating action. And here we have our charging base, a power supply, and another power supply. So you'll have a power supply for the antenna and then one for the Orion X7. And there are also some replacement screws and blades so that you can have a nice fresh cut when the blades are getting dull. And some of the top features are precise position and mapping, dual cutting plates with double width, so 14 inches or 35 centimeters. Here we have customizable path, so you can have it go three different modes. You have all wheel drive where it can go up to 35% slopes. Here we have intelligent obstacle avoidance where it's going to be using the RTK or kind of the GPS, or you're gonna have V-SLAM, which is able to detect objects and move around them. And then here we have floating cutting, so it's going to be a 0.8 inch to four inches. And the floating cutting means that your yard will stay flat even if you have bumps in your yard, which is really great. So you'll have a nice flat cut. So here for the charging station, you want to find a flat surface to put this on and then you want to plug in the power cord and we have plenty of cable here to route it to our power. Then we're going to install this reflective pattern so the Orion X7 knows how to get back to the base station. Then we're going to place on the Orion X7 to start charging and get set up. Here we can see a flashing green light that it is charging and now it's turning on. And here on the top, you have the RTK antenna that will relay back to the actual antenna. And here it's asking for a pin code. We'll be able to change it to our own so it is password protected. Now that we have our charging station set up, we're going to mount the RTK antenna. So this is what is going to talk to the Orion X7 so that it knows where it is and it can drive around your yard. So you have a few different ways in which you can mount this. You can mount it right onto the wall of your home. Um, then you can place it like this. You could also have it in the yard somewhere. You could have it near the charging station or putting it away from the house again is best. So we're going to place this in and then we're gonna download the robotic mowing app and get this set up. So now we're going to move the RTK antenna away from the home. It needs to have a clear view of the sky. So here we're going to put it over here. It comes with four different stakes that you can put in the ground. And during the setup, it'll tell us if it has a good signal. If not, we may need to move it later. Here we're using the robotic mower or intelligent mower app available in the Play Store or the App Store. All right, so now we're going to scan the QR code on the robot. Next, it's gonna walk us through an installation and here we need to turn on the mower. You could also put the RTK antenna on top of the roof. If you have a U-shaped or O yard, that might be best. Next, we're going to choose our Wi-Fi network and connect it to Wi-Fi. Now that we have the Orion X7 charging and set up, we're gonna go ahead and do the mapping. So we're gonna map each area, and then we'll need to create a corridor between the different sections. So let's go ahead, start mapping, and then it's going to verify that everything is working properly. We got green check marks on everything, and now we're going to drive it out and start on the line of our border. All right, now we're going to hit start and here we're gonna start with the working area. So here on screen, I have a little joystick that I can use to navigate around and I'm gonna follow behind to get the best accuracy. Now there are actually two different ways in which you can map this. You can do it manually like this, or you have an option to use AI. So it's going to automatically figure out where your yard is, and then you can also have it set where over time it's going to improve its mapping through AI, which is pretty great. And going around the flower bed here, we just need to make sure that we don't go too far in so that it doesn't get stuck as it's mowing. And I'm just staying as close to the edge as I can. Now the turning radius on this is really great. Easy to go around the different corners. And we are back at the beginning. We're going to stop. And now it has created a map of our yard. That is exactly where I drove. Pretty great. Now we're gonna go ahead and map the other areas. And then we're gonna create that corridor between them. Next, I'm going to create a corridor so that the robot can drive from one to the other, making the correct path so it's not getting in the way of anything. So now we're just going to drive it where we want it to go. Now 
Now, if you do need to pick up the X7 and move it to a different area, there is a handle right here at the back where it can be picked up and moved. So here we have an obstacle, so I'm gonna go right up to it, create an obstacle, and now we're going to drive around it. And here on the map, we can see it added a little tiny area to avoid. Now that we have the yard mapped, we need to decide how it's going to mow in each section. So here, if I come up to the settings, we can go to the global settings of the map. So this is what it's going to do for all of the different areas. So first we can adjust the cutting efficiency. So we have fine tuning, balanced high efficiency. We have cutting direction, so you can do standard, you can do traceless, or you can do custom where you can actually choose the angle of the cut. So if you want it at a 45 degree angle, you want it north and south, or you want it east and west, you have those options. Then we can choose the cutting rotation speed. And then here you have the cutting height. You can choose centimeters or inches. And here we can go from four inches all the way down to 0.8 inches or two centimeters up to 10 centimeters. And then here you have the option for edge cutting frequency. So you can have it do it every time, every second time, every third time. Then you have rain delay. So if it just rained, this is how long it's going to wait before it mows at a scheduled time. And then here you can do all of this by zone. So here you can adjust the different zones and there it can show you what it is currently set at for that zone. So if we wanted it cut at a higher length in the back versus the front, you can easily come in here and then adjust that for that zone. So everything is working great. We're going to save that. And now I think we are ready to mow. So all we need to do is tap the play right here and it's going to start mowing. And here is the difference in some of the heights that you can do. So right now it's currently mowing at four inches, the highest, but then right next to it, I did a little strip, probably shouldn't have done the front yard, but that is down at the two inch mark. So quite a big difference there. So really depending on what length you want, you can have that option. Here the Orion X7 is using the AO Navi positioning and navigation system. This allows it to know exactly where it is on the lawn down to the centimeter. Now this has been great because I can load up the app at any time and see exactly where it is on the lawn. On. This makes it so I can easily find it and know how much it has left to finish. Now one of the problems I've had with other robot lawnmowers is they can't see where they're going. But the Orion X7 has Vision AI system. This allows it to see exactly where it's going and it's able to navigate around tough terrain. Here in the backyard I have all kinds of poles from the swing set, the trampoline and such, and it was able to go all the way around them and get very close and cut right up next to the edge so that it could have a clean cut and we only have a little bit of edging to do. Now this AO Navi system is combining the RTK system as well as the V-SLAM technologies and this enhances signal strength prevents signal loss, and facilitates machine mapping and route planning. The Vision AI system automatically recognizes complex scenes for precise obstacle avoidance. Now, one of the most impressive parts of the Orion X7 is its all-wheel drive. No matter what the train was here in the lawn, it was able to navigate out of it being stuck. I didn't ever have to come out and reposition it because it was in a jam and couldn't get over the train. It was able to do that all on its own. Now, even though we cut this a little too short, you can clearly see how wide that deck is at 35 centimeters or 14 inches. Now, some of the robotic lawnmowers are using a single plate, but with the dual cutting plate on here, it is able to cut much wider. Now, another neat feature of the dual cutting plates is the ability to have floating cutting, is what this means is as it's moving along, it's changing the height of the blades to make sure you have an even cut along the grass, even if your yard is bumpy. And after cutting the backyard here, you can see the finished product. Everything looks great. There is just a little bit of trimming left to do around any of the obstacles in the way. And this was one of the worst areas of the home. It's looking great. Now I really like how he's able to customize the backyard zone and the front yard to be different lengths. So they can have a little bit longer up here and shorter in the back. 
and here it was able to get really close to the mailbox without even setting it up as an obstacle. Now because the base of the lawnmower is pretty heavy, it's creating some really nice lines in the yard. Just one little section left to mow. Now after spending some time with the Orion X7, my parents' lawn is looking better than ever. No offense to the neighbor kid. Now the only maintenance that they need to do with the Orion X7 is to make sure that the gate is open so it can go and mow the entire yard and it's IPX5 water resistant so they're able to wash it off very easily and it can auto recharge without them ever needing to go to the gas station to fill up the gas tank. They also don't need to empty any heavy bags of grass into their garbage because it's all just cutting a little bit at a time. Now taking a look back at where we started with this yard, you can tell there's been some incredible improvements here as we've had the Orion X7 mow. There are a few upcoming Father's Day promotions. If you purchase the Orion X7, they will give you a complimentary gift of two blade boxes, one t-shirt, and a $100 coupon. And then if you're subscribed here to Tech with Brett, I will be leaving a discount code for $50 off that can be combined with the other offer in the description below. Now, if you are looking for a great way to keep your yard looking fresh, make sure you follow Sunseeker and check out the link in the description below to buy yours today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.